Okay, hi there, welcome back. Um, we're now going to look at entering your resources into your uh, Microsoft Project Plan. Uh, so looking at the exercise that you have, that's in point number 14 on the assignment, to set up the resources in the res resource sheet as follows. So you've got Catherine, Peter, Andrew, you've got the boxes for moving and you've got movers and shakers, the moving company. Now, please note there's a small change in the version that you have possibly and uh, this version, which is I've corrected, that the, the type for movers and shakers um, is cost, not work, I think, which is in the version that you have. So we want to enter this uh, information uh, into um, Microsoft project and uh, then we'll be assigning those resources subsequently and if your file is not open you open it and um, if it is open and um, you uh, you'll be looking at a page something like this and um, and what you want to do now is go to a tab uh, up here on top called the resource tab so you click on the resource tab and if you click on the the button there on the left hand side and um, you'll get the option uh, to choose resource sheet so you choose the resource sheet and this is where you enter your resources for your project uh, so our first resource is Catherine uh, our second resource is Peter, our third resource is Andrew, our four, fourth resource is Boxes and our fifth resource is Movers and Shakers are in Shakers. OK, so going back, first of all, to Catherine. Catherine is a, uh, is a resource of type work. She's a resource that works on the project. Um, you can ignore the material column uh, for a work resource, so you don't put anything in there. You can ignore the group column. Uh, but what the next thing that matters is her is her cost per hour and her overtime time rate. So she costs us 100 euro per hour. So she's on um, double time there on 200 euro per hour for um, overtime. Uh, then Peter is uh, at 50 euro an hour. So you put in 50 uh, and his overtime rate is 75 um, per hour. And Andrew is on 50 and 75 as well. So you put in 50 and you put in 75 uh, and the rest of it um, you don't need to worry about for now. Uh, your boxes then are not a work resource. They're actually a material that you'll use on the project. So you change the type to material. Um, and you note that some of the columns uh, over to the right change as well. Uh, so what is the material um, represented? Well, they're boxes. So you put in our box. Um, and over here then you're saying what is the rate per box? What does it cost you um, per box? So the boxes are one euro each. So you put in one euro there and then movers are sh and shakers are not work either. They're a cost. They're going to be uh, a moving company that you're going to use um, and you will assign the cost when you use them. Uh, so you just change that for now and you don't put in anything else on, on there uh, in their columns. Uh, so you've now entered your resources uh, and you're ready to uh, begin to use these resources on your project. The other thing that you would enter on this sheet um, is any details to do with uh, each resource's holidays or uh, training days uh, um, that will affect the project. Uh, so you've been told that Andrew's on an in-house training day on the 5th of January. Um, so if you double click Andrew, um, you will get his uh, resource information. So here on the right hand side, you see the change working time, which is the calendar assigned to Andrew. If you click on that, uh, you'll note up on top that he's using the Office Move calendar, which is the calendar you'd expect him to use because um, that's the, the calendar for this project. And you want him to go on an in-house training day uh, on January 4th. I think the version of the project uh, of the of the assignment you have might say January 5th, but that's a, a, a typing mistake because the 5th is a Saturday. So if we go down and we find January 4th, which is a Friday, and we select January 4th and then down here, say in-house training day and the 4th of the 1st comes in um, for Andrew uh, Andrew's training day. So we say OK to that. Um, and we say OK to that. And now he won't be assigned any work for the 4th of January because of his training day. And it might also be useful to just note that on the right on the left hand side here so that you know um, that that's going to happen. So as you're asked, attach a note to this resort source to remind you. So the same way as before, you can right click over here on the left hand side and put in a note 
or alternatively, just to show you the other way, you can double click on his name and here under notes, uh, the notes tab, you can write in a note. So uh, note in-house training day January 5th. And you go OK and like it, like a task. He now has a little post it to his left where if you hover over it, you'll see that he's got an in-house training day on January 5th. OK, so that's setting up your resources, uh, setting up their cost and um, maybe putting in any holidays that you need. Uh, and you're now ready to assign these resources to your tasks in your project.